Kyle, man. What's good? Hey, man. What's going on with you? Not much. What you up to? I, I, I talked to you not too long ago. You watching preseason games? Yeah, yeah. I'm watching this uh, Warriors game right now. How's what you look? up to, man? Chilling, baby. You know, sitting, catching a vibe in the in the crib. Yeah, you say crisscross applesauce, bro. What you got going on over there? Come on, man. You know this is my meditation space, man. I got yeah, art. I already know it. Some things that I work on. This is where, you know, I create. This is where I, I this is my safe space. I kind of lock in and sit with myself, sit with my thoughts, you know, manifest a few things, talk with my ancestors and make sure I'm good, you know, make sure I'm here. So this is, this is where I sit before I go to work, you know, before I show up every single day, before I put on that superhero cape, you know. But I was for just sure. Saying, and I, for I sure. You know, I know. You know, I know. I, I know. So what you most excited about for this upcoming journey, bro, what we about to partake without giving too much? What you excited about, bro? Yeah, I don't want to give too much. You know, it's going to be a journey, though, bro. It's mm -hmm. going to be a journey. Last year, we didn't really get to play too much with you um, with the injuries and stuff like that going on. But I'm excited about the journey, bro. It's going to be a lot of fun for sure. Nah. The ups and downs of the season, you know. The peaks and the valleys, it's, it's going to be a lot of fun, though. I can't wait for it. It's going to be weird with no fans, though. I'm going to miss y'all out there for sure. Everybody tuned in to the live. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's, it's our gonna world. Be, it's going to be super fun, though. You know, it's Nets world around here, right? You said what? You know, it's Nets world around here, right? Always, always, <laughs> always, always. But what Yo, you, you know what I was going to tune into today, though? What would you say? I said, you know what I was going to tune into today? What? That Ashanti Mary J. Blige live, yo. I was sick. Ashanti, well, I, Ashanti got COVID. Crazy. I've been all right, able to see a lot of people get back to themselves and go, being able to uh, go to a little bit of comments. Yeah. It was fun to be in LA every day, just getting it in, you know, really progress. I don't know. Yo. Just daily work. work. Yeah. I said, people don't know that we was really locked in out there, bro. The past couple months, oh, we've really been locked, locked in. in. Locked in. Man. Man. Hey, he, Blessings, bro. Hey, blessings to um, MJ, man, and, and reaching out, especially, you know, being able to give back and, and just have that whole synergy going. And I'm proud of you, bro. You know, I was, I was definitely jealous. Definitely jealous, like, like that jump man wasn't backing up in my in my drive. <laughs> oh man, but I just you know we talked about that too. People watching, when you're watching seven, Kevin, in practice or, you know, when like throughout the summer. Honestly, I'm just glad he's back to being healthy, bro. And I think the whole basketball world is gonna see the same thing, like, he back to being himself. He back to having fun on the game. Um, so I can't wait for the world to see it, man. He like everybody's favorite player for real, I feel like. So um, the game definitely missed him. Um, yeah. And he's back for sure. Everybody go see that. For sure. Did, so yeah. as an opponent, like in years past? Yeah, like because I, I, don't think, I don't think a lot of people understand what it's like for us sometimes when we're off the floor and, you know, we're, we all come from different places. You know, we all do different things in the summer times. When we come together, we only play against each other. Sometimes people in the Eastern Conference, Western Conference, twice, you know, once. You know, so as an opponent, only seeing him in the Western Conference, for me, it was different, you know, completely. Yeah. Because I told him, like, I saw you as my rival for so long. And then come you as a teammate, bro, you are so different. I, I, it's like. All right, so, you know, you want to play your best. You want to play your best when you're playing against the best. So when you're playing against guys like K, when you're playing against guys like yourself, Bron, guys like that, you want to be at your best. For sure. So whenever we see, you know, one of y'all, it's like, okay, that game is circled. We know that game coming for a week and a half before it comes, you know what I'm saying? So you want to yeah. be at your best during those games. Sleep the night before the game? You said what? You were getting extra sleep the night before the game? You know I was locked in. Extra film. <laughs> <laughs> Norma Tech, all that. Okay. All yeah. right. By the way, I appreciate your time. And, and I hope we're not, I hope, you know, sitting with guys is not taking.
I'm good. Hold on. Give me one second. All right. You know, we, that New York, New Jersey area, you know, we, we not too far away from the airport. So, so, you know. That's good. No, I was just, it, do we call this Go Talk? Do we call this Mount Rushmore Talk? What do we call this? How do we describe it? Do we call it 7-Eleven? 7-Eleven Talk? Yeah, this 7-Eleven Talk. Mm. <laughs> this 7-Eleven Talk for you, though. Oh, <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, come on now. Come on now. You come on to you come on to sin with Kai. I welcome you in as a guest. Like a little bit just a little bit respect between us? No, nah, but I'm just saying though, cause you ain't did no media or or, <laughs> uh, or nothing. So I think it's as your teammate that I should be asking you the questions. <laughs> you you know what? You <laughs> Okay, that's fair. I, I had something in my phone. But uh, okay, we'll do this. Yeah, sitting with Kai, you know, it, hey, the, the floor is yours. All right. You told me once we uh, uh, decided to play for the Nets that you needed four post ups a <laughs> night. I mean, eight post ups a night, four each half. I think that's too much for a 6 1 point guard. And I think that might hold up our offense, but. I wonder why you decided to play more of a big than your normal position. <laughs> you know what? I honestly, uh, I feel like my my soul tells me I'm six eleven. I'm seven feet. I'm you. You know what I mean? I'm able to be. I'm able to shoot over people that. You know, small guards. I don't know. I'm not gonna just des describe who the small guards are, but. As I got a little older, I, I feel like I could just shoot over anybody. That So even you, to this point, where I was like, man, I want to be more of a, a post-up guard. That's really my game. Mark Jackson type back downs and back you down from half court. That's <laughs> it. The object of the game is to get as close. Yo, as well. you're not backing nobody down from half, man. Stop. No, I am backing. I am backing people down from half court. No, you're not. Right? Like you but, ask for you <laughs> asking for like clear out duck ins. Like I'm gonna start at the dunker spot, and once you drive, okay. I'm ducking this guy in so I can shoot the hook shot. Like, well, you six feet. Look, look, hold on. Can I ask you a question now? I don't yeah. mean to cut you. When we were playing today, and I ducked in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what play I'm talking about. We were we were scrimmaging today. <coughs> Which one? We were scrimmaging today. You had the ball, and I was running up the floor, and I thought I had the seal. Oh yeah, yeah, like yeah. I mean, I was gonna throw it over the top, but you really aren't small as shit, so I really couldn't see. You know what I mean? I didn't I didn't think I had a good angle. Plus, you had Chios on you, which you know y'all the same height, so his length was a little bit. His hand was in the way when you tried to duck in. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Let me let me let, let me let me get something straight while sitting sitting with Kyle. Let me get something point. straight with Kyle before seven continues. Before we continue this seven eleven talk, this is a safe space where we talk to each other like this, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's a safe space. Yeah. But look, I even have to address seven this way. Yo, just show a little bit more respect on the show for the actual host. You know what I mean? Because I'm I just want to be able to just communicate with you about how I feel as a post-up guard. In my past life, like I said, I was you. I was you. I was you. What you are now, that's what I'm up here. I, same mentality. I'm getting to a spot. I'm raising up. I'm getting to a, a, a bucket. My footwork is impeccable. I have length. I'm able to shoot over top, hold, hold the follow-through, and I don't see people. I, 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 do you not feel the same way? I do sometimes, but I'm just saying I don't think that's good for the continuity of our offense if our point guard always want to be it underneath the rim. You know what I'm saying? You know what? minutes. They was wondering where Kyrie was at once I got on him. No, no. Would I, you believe? Would you say that I was top level, elite, Hall of Fame, <laughs> all my badges, pickpocket, intimidator on, 
I got on perk. I got uh, uh, I had pickpocket, pick, pick dodger on gold. I'm just saying, did you think that was some of the best defense somebody like a, a corner ever played on? No, honestly, the way you described that one situation where you picked me up full court, like the one situation, bro, it was like only, it was like five or six possessions. I had to take you out the game. Ever picked me up full court was that one possession in the finals that you're referring to? If that is Hall of Fame worthy of that type of stature of you, Kevin Durant, guarding me. That you got it, bro. You have that. All right, <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, I appreciate you, bro. But I, I had a few questions for you though. Yeah, go ahead, bro. Don't mind, if you don't mind. All right. Hold on. Let me let me uh let me see this, man. Um I wanted to know about some of your <clears throat> musical influences that changed your, your mindset. Mm. Like some of your musical influences, some songs or some artists, you know, guys with more experience and the guys that they seen on these levels, you know. So I try to give each individual their space, but know that some may be watching me. So let me go as hard as I can in each drill. Let me show them through my actions mm -hmm. what my routine has been you know, since I stepped into the league. And let them know that it may change. You may go through ebbs and flows of just who you are. For sure. As an individual and as a person. But you have reference points here, you know, throughout the gym. But I'm never going to be overbearing. I'm never going to want to lure bro. I'll never want to lure bro nobody, you know. I just want to <laughs> let let everybody grow, but also lead by example. For sure. You know, just coming in, going to work, not saying much. Try not to argue with the refs in practice. Try not to get too pissed off in situations. You know uh, that. Uh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. We we, we don't. K K, you you stay balanced through through every everything. So we we expect you to <laughs> we expect you to stay that. You know how it goes sometimes, though. No, bro. for sure. Not, and I think that that's the beauty of you know us showing our emotions. You know whether it's on the court or off the court, and and, and being able to balance that. You know, yeah. life has all its challenges. It, it has all of its disruptions, all of its distractions. Yeah. Like I said, individually, we have responsibility to work on ourselves, to continue yep. to hone in on what keeps us peaceful. You know, what is what is love? And it's yep. how do you embrace the people around you to just continue to, hey, I need to get myself right before I get back into this this role that I'm playing in, in life, you know? So I hear you on that, you know? Exactly. Yeah, man. Hey. <laughs> Love you, bro. I'll see you in the morning. You got to, um. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, I'm, I'm, I have not many, much words to say except for, I think I might have to paint it, bro. <laughs> Oh yeah. How, how I wrote I wrote I wrote seven eleven. How how long have you been waiting for this? It feels like eternity, bro. It feels like it, man, it's too long. It's time. How long has it been since you stepped on that floor? It's been eighteen months, bro. Eighteen months? Eighteen months. Sick, right? But hey, we here now. Might as well lock in. Eighteen well worth it months that not a lot of people got to see you working your tail off to work yourself back into a condition where you can be growing steadily. Still, yes, sir. Thirty-two, bro. You're still getting better. And yo, 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 bro. Oh, come on, yo. Oh my, yo. Well, what? relax with the yo the 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 throwing my age out there so casually like that. <laughs> no, no, I. That's what. Oh, damn, I can't wait till you hit thirty. I told you I can't wait till you hit thirty, <laughs> bro. Well, you can't be on the Forbes thirty under thirty no more. That's gonna hit you hard. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah. they throw they throw the thirty for thirty out. I'm like, damn, yo, I'm getting old as shit. <laughs> yo, how many times were you on that list though? Yo, damn, in my all my whole thirties, bro. 
<laughs> like that, they don't got no like thirty five and not, uh thirty five and th under thirty five. You know? Bro, you making your way closer to uh fifty club now. Yo, yo, check. All right, bro. All right, fam. I'm no, but look, tomorrow, though. Nah, I appreciate you, bro. Much love, and I, I can't wait to get this thing going. I know, you know, I'm excited for our teammates as well. All our brothers that's rocking with us. You know, this is the start of a journey. You know what I mean? Sure. Kick it off sitting with Kai with each other. Kat, Bert checked in earlier. So I Same Vert was on. Yeah, for sure. My boy Vert, get right, man, so we can get you back on the floor, bro. Yeah. All the homies, I'm sure if they watching, you know, you know, I'll see y'all in the morning. You know what I'm saying? For sure. You already know how we rocking. We move different over here. Hashtag, you know hashtag, hashtag work continues, right? Love you, bro. Love you too, bro. I'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, man. I hope y'all like that. That was cool.